So this is a case of IMSC. And here I proceed with my first side port. And here goes the second side port. Usually such cases, immature cases, all cases we prefer direct chop only, but if the case is very mature and PSC there, we go for flip and chop. So depending on the case. So here we'll try to do a direct chop, but if the nucleus is very soft, then we might have to change to flip and chop technique. I'm giving the clip and do die. I'm just washing out it. Injecting the viscoelastic substance. Now we'll go for excess. Lens load the today. Such cases, in fact, oh, we do an excess of high PMM is the ideal size of the excess. And for immature cases, if the nucleus is soft. The chance of extension to the periphery is high. If the nucleus is hard, then the excess becomes easier. So here we are done with the excess. Now we will go for hydro dissection. Usually I don't do a delineation because again we have to deal with a epinucleus. And as I usually say, FACO hydro dissection in any cataract surgery related to FACO or uh, SICS is the silent key step for all the cataract surgery. A good hydro really makes the for the steps easier. But yeah, height code. Right? Just with 5% of energy, I just aspirated the superficial cortex. Here, I did a groove. See here how nicely the first chop happened. So, if the vacuum is good, the chopping becomes easier. I usually don't emulsify at this stage I prefer to complete the chopping make the heminucleases to further smaller fragments then I go for emulsification so now the chopping part is complete now I will emulsify usually the emulsification is done at the level of the iris or slightly below the iris line maybe but may for in the under. Try to remove some of the cortex with the FACO probe if they are coming. See, some part of the cortex is coming with the FACO probe itself. Only the sub incisional cortex is there. The rest of the cortex almost we aspirated it out. Now we will go for bimanual irrigation and aspiration. And as I have said, 95% of the cortex is already removed. The lens. Now just sub incisional cortex was there. 
I remove that and putting the higher well. If it is loaded properly and injected properly, we don't have to again dial it. Nicely it slips into the capsule well bag. So you see how nicely the PCI well got implanted inside the capsule well bag. So this completes the factory emulsification cataract surgery. So this completes the factory emulsification cataract surgery in case of an immature cataract. The key step is whenever the case is immature, we have to have a good grip to go for the direct uh, job technique. So have first have a small groove, that is the main part. With the groove, we can have a good hold with the vacuum. Then we can proceed with the direct job.